Okay, so this flower here is for Campsus radicans. This is your trumpet creeper, trumpet vine, cow itch, or hummingbird vine. It's in the Bignoniaceae family, and just like everything else in the Bignoniaceae family that we will learn, which includes our Bignonia caprioleta, we'll have a capsule. The specific of that radicans means rooting, just like with um, poison ivy, and we will look at why. So we will also see that it is pollinated by hummingbirds. You can see that as the tubular flower here and is commonly cultivated with many varieties available because this flower is really pretty and this is a great native vine to plant. All right, so here's what campsus looks like as ground cover. So when it's just spreading out before it starts climbing or crawling, you can see he's definitely woody. These nice little stems coming up, they're woody. Leaves are opposite. There, that node. Leaves themselves are compound, typically with three to seven leaflets. Those leaflets are going to be elliptical to somewhat, acuminate with large serrations. Yes, we've got some, some leaf tissue along the rachis here. So good look at those individual leaves. So I'm sitting here with a vine for Campsus. This is a very mature vine. It's my hand for scale. It's a big boy. So you can see it's got roots where it's attaching that are adventitious, but it's definitely not going to look like poison ivy vine where they're going to be all over. It's going to be somewhat wiggly, almost like muscle wood. See, it's got sinewy. The bark is really light and it's kind of flaking off. Overall, it's that really wriggly texture that's going to tell you that it's campsus. You can see this one's so big that even some woodpeckers have been in it. And I'll show you some muscadine vine in a second so you don't get those two confused. You know, that really light bark just flakes off a little bit. Here's an even better example of how weirdly ridged that vine can get when it's large. This one's about as large around as my leg. It's a big boy. Here's an example of mature vitus vine, so you don't get that confused with mature campsus. Um, so you can see this is much darker. It's got kind of furrows on it that almost flake off, but like definitely ridges. You can stick your nail in. A lot more texture. We'll occasionally have tendrils coming off of it. See here, it's a tendril peeking off. Um, they tend to climb kind of funky. They don't always hang out on the tree, but they're also gonna be a lot more regular. So not as wrinkled in their um, diameter. So very different from Campsus. Here's a reminder as we are talking about vines, the mature vine on poison ivy. It's going to be really, really densely furry. Those little tiny hairs all over it. This guy's gonna look like Chewbacca. You should not mistake him for anything else. And you should of course not grab him.